Good morning, garden friends. I am at the corporate home depot because um, uh, we're in the process of creating two new garden beds and I want to end up getting some plants. So come along with me. Let me share with you, you know, some of the plant choices that I am looking to put into uh, the new garden beds and the items that they end up having on sale. So hopefully you will see some things here that um, you will be able to take advantage of the sales throughout the week. So come along with me. Now, as you all know, I am a lover of the Sunshine Ligustrum. And uh, these are from Southern Living Plant Collection. Normally $12.98 for the one gallon. They're on sale for $9.88. And these guys are so hardy. That's why I love them. And then you do end up having color throughout the seasons. So this is always a good choice uh, for a splash of color in your garden. But um, for this bed that I am working on, we're not gonna be putting these in here. And I'm trying to uh, mainly focus on perennials, um, especially with us being so late in the season. But they do, they have, um, what are these? These are the, I think, asters. Let me see. Yeah, but they're annuals. And while it would be nice to have those, um, like I said, I'm looking more for perennials. Their Vigoro uh, Budlias are also on sale for the one gallon. Uh, normally $12.98, now $9.88. And I'll tell you what, guys, I got mine this size and they are very vigorous plants. Now, mind you, the, the uh, Budlias only end up getting, uh, what is it, 30, 36 to 48 feet in height. So it's a good, nice, compact uh, bush to end up having in your garden and definitely attracts the butterflies and the bees. The next one is another one of my favorites, which are the Black Eyed Susans. Um, these guys are also on sale. Uh, normally $8.98 for the two quarts, now on sale for $7.88. Now these guys are definitely um, excellent flowers to have in your garden. And I'm in the process of um, splitting mine for the garden bed that's going to be in the front to, to mimic what is on the other side in the, in the flower bed. Oh, I was not aware that Pintus was a perennial and they have some here and require full sun and gets anywhere between 10 to uh, 18 inches tall and they are 16.98 i was not aware of that i've always gotten the annuals hmm do i want to get these for the new bed. Now their garden mums are also on sale. Normally $7.98, but uh, they're on sale for $5 for the 2.5 quart containers. Now, I so love mums, but they are definitely high maintenance uh, plants. 
they have such a nice array of them. Oh, yeah. So they actually, okay, so it's two for $10 if you end up uh, getting those. I'm actually looking for the perennials for my garden. I am so <laughs> loving the cone flowers. Now, I think in the new garden bed, these guys would look really, really nice uh, to have that um, in, the, in the garden bed. And the one thing in regards to the cone flowers that I notice for the ones that I have, uh, the greenery tends to stay for me throughout the season, you know, because we don't get like super, super cold weather. And when we do, it's for a short uh, period of time. So I do think I want some of the cone flowers and I prefer to find the ones that don't have a lot of the flowers blooming so that I can enjoy and have color through, this, through the rest of the season. So I do love the white and the pink combination. So I think I'm gonna get three of these. Okay, so I wanted something to tie in to the new bed with uh, the other relatively new uh, bed. And I do have the Larapi in in there now this says part sun but this does so well for me in my full sun area so i think i am going to get these and as you see you know i i prefer the little small ones i think for that bed five would be sufficient. I so love the variegated. I better, okay, those other ones aren't as variegated. Let me change these out. Yeah. More of a variegated color. Okay. I can already see it. <laughs> the combination of having these in the garden bed. Here is another uh, plant that's on sale. It is the um, Autumn Fire Sedum. Uh, normally $7.98 on sale for $5. You know, and sedum is one of the easiest plants to add that fall color to your garden. Okay, so I am thinking that I do want some of the uh, dwarf fountain grass in this garden. Um, it, it's, let me see the height. Okay, so it gets two feet tall. Okay, so that stays nice and compact. Um, and I so like that. And I think that would look really good maybe with the fountain grass. Oh yes, look at that guys. The fountain grass being in the center of the cone flowers. Okay, I'm getting this. <laughs> Oh, and for you guys who have like a shade, part shade to shade area, um, the Southern Living has their heartthrob uh, semi-dwarf hydrangeas. Um, these guys get three by three, um, normally $28.98 on sale for $14.49. And these are, uh, what are these? The gal, yeah, it's a 
three gallon container, but <laughs> I can't do anything with part shade to shade hydrangeas in, in my yard. Uh, they also have the smaller version. Um, what is this? Uh, I think this is a quart uh, for normally $19.98 on sale for $9.99. I'm wondering if I could put these up by my hot tub area in a container. Oh, no, I'm not going to do it. I don't, I don't want to sit here and in it not be successful. Now to just add a little color, I might get a couple of the vincas uh, to put in the new back garden bed. Just to add that color and tie in, you know, the whites and the pinks from the cone flowers. And normally they're a dollar ninety-eight. They're on sale for ninety-eight cents. So I'm going to get some of these. Okay, so this is the area that we have uh, trim the grass back. That we're going to extend this bed out. We're going to just go ahead and reuse those timbers back there to pull the bed out and so we end up putting the cardboard down and uh, this was dirt from another area that I'm putting on down on the bottom and then I will be putting the compost over top of it um, I like the idea of using the clay to hold down the cardboard even more. This did have some rocks in it, but I don't believe it's going to impact me uh, getting this bed prepped for my plants that I'm going to put in here. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and get this spread out and then put the compost on top of it and then start getting the plants into this bed. And we actually extended this out, probably a good uh, four foot, you know, so I'm really happy about that. And then this will be where I will be running a pathway um, through here once I get uh, some other things in that area taken care of. Whew, I had to take that hat off. <laughs> That sun is intense. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this clay spread out before I put the compost on. And then go ahead and get my plants laid out where I want them to be at and go from there. I probably will take out some of these big rocks that are in here. And two, by using the clay, it helps save on, you know, the amount of topsoil that you have to use uh, to get the bed set. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these rocks out of here, especially the big ones. And then I'll get back on uh, once I get the compost put down and then the plants laid out so I can show you what that's going to look like. Okay, so this is how I'm thinking of laying this out because I want this to be my sun lit meadow. And I do have other grasses back there, 
but I think once I get everything trimmed up, get some other plants that are a little wispy, maybe some more grasses, maybe some more garro, or move some of the garro that I have and interweave it in here because like I said, I am going to be putting a pathway so that you can come through here and walk all the way around. So this is the layout. I gotta get some more compost. So um, that's something that I'm gonna get before I get these plants planted because I, I want a good three to four inches on this bed to sort of be in line with the one that's already back there. So what do you guys think? Um, I know they're not in the ground yet, but I, I, I can see it. I can see this definitely being a sunlit meadow. All right, guys, I ended up changing my mind in regards to the layout. I'm not done yet because the last thing I want to do is get my what is it my lantana dug up and end to a pot and then i'm gonna move it over just a hair but it'll end up being actually moved back once i get my quick fire jungle area back there cleaned out and i decided to have the pathway come in this way that's an extra one that i'm going to be putting in here for it to follow the trail back here. Doesn't that look so nice for my sun lit meadow garden with the plant choices that I have back here. I did end up planting in some chrysanthemums. Um, I only did six, <laughs> so that'll be manageable. Uh, but yeah, I am really loving how this is turning out. But the goal is to, as I clean this up, build up the pathway and lay the bricks down. And like I said, I have bulbs that I'm going to be planting in here. So I'm not putting any uh, mulch down yet until I get my bulbs, which I believe will be uh, mid-October. So this is coming along really, really nicely. I'll end up showing you guys uh, the next stage of this garden bed in my next video. All right, guys, I had to come in because it started raining outside. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my new creation of my sunlit meadow garden. And I just cannot wait until the flowers are in full bloom. Thank you again for visiting Inspiring Garden Corner. And as always, if you are enjoying my content, and want to take this journey with me, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to you checking out my next video.